Today we're starting a new series on the yoga kleshas, and our first of that sequence is avidya. So the kleshas are obstacles to enlightenment, and avidya means ignorance. And we're going to work on avidya by going down the layers of the koshas, the series that we just finished about the layers of our being. We start by standing on the mat in mountain pose, coming into stillness with the body, and then using the inhale to draw the arms up, slight back bend. Exhale, release the arms down. So the first of the kosha is the physical body, the Anamaya kosha. We're going to do a tense and release practice, scrunching the shoulders up, squeezing the elbows back, getting really tight through the upper body muscles, and then letting the arms drop. Inhale, tight squeeze, exhale, drop the arms. Just shake the arms out a little bit, get that tension out of the shoulders and the neck. Take a big inhale to stretch up, open yourself back. Exhale the arms down. And we'll do one more round of tense and release. Squeezing the arms, squeezing the hands into fists, getting really tight. And exhale, let the arms drop, let them hang loose. Inhale, scrunch. Exhale, release. Getting that chronic tension out of the shoulders. Take your next inhale to stretch all the way up. We'll exhale down into forward bend. We move into our next kosha, the pranamaya kosha, by inhaling halfway up, exhaling into forward bend. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale into forward bend. We're moving with the breath, which is how we regulate our prana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release down. One more time like that. Inhale, halfway up. Let your exhale release you down. Then springing all the way up into extended mountain pose. We'll draw the arms down to the heart. And continuing to work on the pranamaya kosha with a prana mudra. Inhale, open the arms out to the sides like a big W. Exhale, draw the palms into the heart. You can think of it like an accordion. Inhale, stretching the accordion out. Exhale, pressing the ends together. We're following the movement of the breath. Inhale, draw the arms up, stretch overhead. As you exhale, dive down into your forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. So we come back into that same alternating movement, letting the breath help you to rise halfway up. Exhale, soften into gravity. This time, as you exhale, let your knees drop down to the mat. Find your way down into child's pose. We use a forward bend to settle the manomaya kosha, the mind, bringing clarity and space in between the thoughts. We'll inhale, take the arms up, come into kneeling mountain. Draw the palms to the forehead to the third eye. Lower yourself back down to the mat, into child's pose. Take that same sequence again. Inhale, kneeling mountain. Exhale, the hands draw down the center line. Third eye, settle down onto the mat. Inhale, kneeling mountain. Exhale, palms come down the center line. Tap the forehead, release down to the earth. Transitioning into table, 
for the next kosha, the Vigyanamaya kosha, or the wisdom and intuition. For this one, we're going to bend the elbows straight back, tap your forehead onto the earth, and press yourself back up. Keeping the elbows tight as you do this movement, we're trying to use the triceps, the muscles on the back of the arms, to control that movement each way. Connecting with the space at the forehead. We'll take the right leg back and just add that into the movement. As you exhale, bow the forehead to the earth. The foot rises up behind you. Inhale, press yourself back up. Raising and lowering the body with your breath. This is a good way to integrate the mind and the wisdom, those two layers that are next to each other. We'll switch over to the other side. Send your left leg back, keeping that same movement pattern. Exhale, bow the forehead to the earth. Inhale, press up with the strength of your arms. Letting your left knee drop down, take a moment in child's pose. And we'll inhale, draw up into kneeling mountain, down to the forehead, down to the earth. Again, integrating the mind sheath and the wisdom sheath. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, slide down the center line, return to child's pose, wisdom pose. Inhale, kneeling mountain. Palms joined together, slide down the center. Fold from the knees, fold from the hips. Settle onto the earth. Moving into the deepest layer, the Ananda Maya Kosha, the bliss layer, we come up into kneeling mountain. Open the arms out to the sides, turn the palms up to the sky, thumbs reach back. Exhale, scoop the hands behind you. Inhale, open from the heart, palms open. Exhale, scoop and press the air back behind you. We're rolling the heart open and dropping the heart down. The arms are really strongly connected to the heart center. So we create this movement from the heart all the way down to the fingertips. Letting yourself settle into child's pose. Being still on the mat for a breath. We come back up on two hands and knees. We're going to draw the hips up high into downward facing dog. From our down dog, we come into this sequence by Floating the right leg up, stepping the right leg forward, come into your lunge. Now that same arm movement that we were just doing, we're going to come up into our lunge and incorporate that heart opening and then lowering the heart down, scoop the arms back. Same arm movement. Connecting to that layer of bliss moving from the heart center. It's a very deep level of happiness. Deeper than our external events can have an effect on. Now opening the arms straight out, draw them forward. We're going to cross the arms into eagle. Left arm on top, wrapping the arms together, finding that nice tight eagle shape. Keeping steady, we start to shift our weight forward, 
Shift onto the front foot, draw your back leg, cross it over. We're wrapping into a full version of eagle. Arms and legs wrapped around each other, drawing into the center, but still expanding up through the fingertips and out through the elbows. Keeping your gaze steady and strong just past the arms. Inhale, open the arms, open the leg. Find that flying eagle. And from there, we're going to wrap right back into your eagle. Uncrossing the top leg, reaching it back. Return to your lunge the same way you came up. You're moving back. You find yourself in that lunge with the arms and eagle. Inhale, open and untwist the arms. Exhale to the heart. Release the hands down onto the mat. Step your right leg back into down dog. So that sequence integrates the heart chakra or the heart space and the wisdom. So those two layers that are next to each other. We're going to switch over to the other side. Left leg comes up into your three legged dog. Step your left leg forward, lunging on that side rising up, move into that heart opening, inhale, open the palms up, reach the thumbs back, press the heart forward, exhale, scoop the air back, roll the heart down. Using this movement as a way to connect to that deep layer of bliss. It's the pure bliss of simply being alive. The next time that you come up, straighten the arms, cross the right arm on top, wrap the arms together into an eagle. Set your drishti, set your gaze just past the arms and use that to steady your balance. Shifting your weight onto your front foot. Take your back leg. Your right leg is going to wrap over the top and maybe the toes will wrap around the calf as well. You come into the full version of eagle. Drawing into the center to find your stability. Use your eyes, your gaze, just past the hands. That's going to help to steady you that strong internal focus. This is our pose to connect with our wisdom. Unwrap the leg, unwrap the arm, floating eagle, expand the arms and leg out. We wrap right back into our eagle pose, same way. Keeping your arms in eagle, Unwrap your leg, reach your right leg back, reaching it back, keeping your balance, make the leg long, drop it down onto the mat. You find yourself back in your eagle pose in a lunge. Unwrap the arms, open out to the sides. Exhale, palms to the heart. Release the palms down onto the mat. Step your left leg back into downward facing dog. Start to soften your knees and walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Coming all the way up into a forward bend. So now we turn around, we're going to go back up the koshas to the mono maya kosha, the mind. Swaying side to side gently in your forward bend. Using this time in your forward bend as a way to calm and focus the mind. Wrap the arms around your legs, going deeper.
Take your inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, release down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward bend. This time, bending the knees and expanding all the way up into extended mountain pose. Reaching for the sky. Arms release down, settle into the heart. We're moving back up through Prana Mudra. So Prana Mudra is going to work on the Pranamaya Kosha, the energy layer. Inhale, expand out to the sides. Exhale, palms draw together. Letting the movement of your hands mirror the movement of the breath, that expanding and contracting. Inhale yourself up into mountain, maybe a little back bend. Exhale the arms down. And we find our way back through the Anamaya Kosha, the physical body, scrunching the shoulders up, getting really tight. Drop the arms, release the tension. Inhale, tightening, lots of effort. Exhale, release. Training your body to let go of that tension that we hold physically. Shake the arms out, shake the hands. And we'll do a little squeeze with one hand onto your shoulder. Squeeze all the way down the arm. Work down the muscles. Do the same thing on the other side. Squeeze the shoulder, squeeze down the arm, the forearm and the hand. Give everything a nice shake, loosen it up. Draw your hands to the heart. After working through all of those layers, we come into stillness. Moving down to that deepest layer within you. That layer where the true self or the soul resides. Letting yourself settle into that stillness. 